Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to talk about an anti-aging ingredient that has pretty much been all the rage recently. I feel like it's everywhere, but I wanted to talk about peptides and whether or not they're just a bunch of baloney, if they actually work, and then I wanted to compare two different pretty popular peptide creams. I used both of these creams over the course of two months, and I wanted to share my results with you guys. So yeah, lots of things to talk about, so we'll go ahead and get started. So I've recently been doing a ton of research when it comes to peptides, mainly because, well first off, I'm kind of a science geek at heart. I'm a nurse, it's just, I don't know, it's like in my blood, and I just love kind of figuring out how things work, and I love beauty, so researching ingredients, especially with like makeup and skincare, it kind of brings my love for just science and beauty together. But really the main reason of why I wanted to look more into this ingredient is because of the results I got from this number seven line correcting booster serum. This has a peptide complex, specifically Matrixel 3000 in here, and overall my face has just felt more smooth and plump and hydrated. Everything just looks more even. So I really wanted to look more into peptides and more so in moisturizers, especially since moisturizers are probably one of the most important steps in your skincare routine because they really hold in all those important ingredients, they maintain like an inclusive layer, keep your hydration in. So I thought it was important that I really just, you know, take a good look at my moisturizers and get some good ones to have some decent ingredients. So there's a ton of moisturizers out there, a ton of options, but I wanted to look into more of the more popular ones. And the two that I found were the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream and the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Cream. But before we dive into my results with both of these and their ingredients, I wanted to talk more about peptides specifically. So peptides make up the components of our skin, specifically the chains of amino acids that make up proteins. And there are specific proteins in our skin that contribute to the elasticity and the bounciness of our skin, like collagen and elastin. And because they're only fragments of protein, the thought is that applying peptides directly to the skin will stimulate more protein or specifically collagen to be produced. And there's four different types of categories of peptides all of which work in different ways on your skin. But really, this gets all complicated, but the biggest thing you wanna look out for on your ingredient labels are words that end in peptide, or there's other common trademark names like Matrixel is a big one and Synac is another big one. And okay, so there's a ton of different peptides out there. Which ones actually work? Should we be looking out for specific ones? We don't really know. So there's a ton of studies out there, all of which are pretty promising. There's a lot of clinical trials out there that showed positive results from using peptide creams. There was a double-blinded study where they compared a controlled moisturizer on one side of a subject's face and the other subject had a peptide containing cream and they found line smoothing results on the side containing the peptide cream. Here's where it gets a little dicey with these studies. So peptides also work extremely well as humectants. So they're water loving and they bring hydration into the skin and they really help to smooth out the skin with the help of moisture. So we don't really know if these results are from increased hydration in the skin or because collagen was actually produced from applying the peptides to the skin. Now there are studies out there that have shown that applying peptides to specific skin cells have shown collagen production, but the problem with these studies, they were done in in vitro or in petri dishes. So we're not actually observing the peptide absorbing through the skin and getting through the deeper layers and actually producing collagen. They're applied directly into a petri dish. Really the only way to see if peptides actually produce collagen are taking a piece of somebody's skin and actually looking at it under a microscope and testing these specific cells. And I'm not quite sure that there's people out there that would actually volunteer for these specific studies. So that's the problem with these studies. There's so many out there that show so many promising results, but are these peptides actually getting to the deeper layers of the skin and are they actually producing collagen? Or are we seeing results because our skin is just more hydrated from these peptides? Either way, I feel like these studies are promising, they show positive results, and whether, I, don't, I guess I don't really care how the peptides work as long as they're making my skin look more plump, they're filling in my fine lines, hopefully maybe even preventing further signs of aging. I'll take it. I'm not going to invest a ton of money into skincare containing peptides, but if there's ones that have worked for me, I'll continue to repurchase them. And if you guys want to see a more in-depth review of these studies, if you're a science geek like I am, check out Angie from Hot and Flashy. She has an amazing peptide video. She actually does a really thorough literature review where she goes over all these studies and like the science behind all these peptides. So she's a great one to check out. Also Dr. Dre, she goes to more of like an in-depth analysis of the 
different peptides and how they work. So I'll leave those two videos linked down below if you guys want more information. But that's kind of the gist of all the studies and my opinion on the use of peptides and if I'll be continuing to use them. So you guys can make your own opinion depending on doing your own research. But I, for me, I feel like there's pretty promising studies out there. So I'm going to continue to give them a go. And going into that, I will say that both of these creams did give me pretty positive results. So let's go into each of these creams specifically. We'll start, what do we want to start with? Let's talk about the It Cosmetics one first. This is the Confidence in a Cream. So the cost is $48 for two ounces. So you get a little bit more for your money with this cream as compared to the Drunk Elephant. The Drunk Elephant has 1.7 ounces and that cream is $68. And the details of this cream on Sephora's website are as follows. So it says it's an ultra hydrating moisturizer that's clinically tested to rejuvenate, repair, and restore skin for a softer, smoother, younger looking result. Confidence in a Cream's quick absorbing formula transforms skin with each application by boosting its natural regenerative cycle for a more supple, healthier, younger looking appearance. And it says it has an exclusive concentrate that combines collagen and hyaluronic acid to visibly plump fine lines and wrinkles. It also contains niacin, peptides, and a super ceramide complex and other active ingredients to smooth texture, intensely hydrate, and create firmness. So lots of big claims in here, and I will say this ingredient list, first of all, it's huge. It has over 75 ingredients. It is like the kitchen sink of skincare ingredients in here. Whatever your skincare concerns are, there's an ingredient in here that's going to address it. Now rather than going through all 75 ingredients, I'll just take a rundown of just the main ingredients, the more popular ingredients in here. So there's aloe, coconut oil, there's shea butter in here, which is found to be a very like heavily occlusive moisturizer, great for dry skin. Sodium hyaluronate, there's niacinamide, which has proven brightening effects collagen, ceramides, there's also colloidal oatmeal, so that's going to help with redness and inflammation. There's also retinol retinoic, there's squalene, so that's going to help with elasticity in your skin. There's licorice root, which that has also been shown to show brightening in the skin. Tea tree oil, so that's great for those of you that suffer with acne. And then at the bottom, there's also a ton of essential oils in here, like lavender, grapefruit, orange, and bergamot oils. So that's like the one negative for me in here, along with the whole gamut of these ingredients. Ingredients. When you have such a long ingredient list, there's just more potential for irritation and it's hard to identify that specific ingredient that caused the irritation. But also with these essential oils, so that lends itself to this citrus smell of this cream, which to me, I don't know, it's not the most pleasant smelling. It kind of smells like a light scented cleaning product to me. And I could do without the essential oils. They could also be an irritating ingredient. But again, there's a ton of things in here that are going to help repair your skin and to help with the moisture levels in your skin. Now the peptides in here are the 45th ingredient. So for me, that's the biggest difference when it comes to peptides with these two creams. Peptides are further up on the list with the Drunk Elephant, and I'll get more into that. So because they're a lot further down, they might not be as effective as the peptides in the Drunk Elephant. Now as far as my results with this cream, I use this for a full month, and I have to say a little bit goes a long way. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I probably use maybe 25% of this cream. It's a really thick, rich cream. It feels like butter going onto the skin. Your skin feels instantly hydrated and dewy. And that is probably my favorite part about this cream. The moisture that you get from this is insane. I always wake up with like soft, supple skin. I know the first couple days I used this, I did have two little pimples on my hairline. And because of this huge ingredient list, it's hard to say what that irritation was actually from. I don't know if it's from the highly occlusive nature of this moisturizer or because of the fragrance in here. It's kind of hard to say. But once I got through that initial breakout phase, I really did love this cream. Like I said, every day my skin felt so smooth and I really felt like I was starting to notice specific signs that my skin was smoothing, my lines were less noticeable, and you'll see my before and after. I have a line between my eyes. That is probably my most pronounced wrinkle on my face. I feel like that along with the line underneath, especially my right eye, has shown the most dramatic improvement. My skin looks smoother, it looks more bright. I really did see pretty quick 
results from this cream and again I don't know if that's because of the intense hydration from this cream or because of the peptides and the other anti-aging ingredients in here but I really did notice a big line smoothing effect with this cream so I was really happy with this moisturizer I love the results I could do without the fragrance and without that initial breakout but it didn't last long it only lasts a few days so I don't know if it, I just my skin just needed to get used to it or what but just keep that in mind if you have really sensitive skin or if your skin's on the oily side this might be a little bit too intense or occlusive for your skin but I really feel like this cream works and it produced results. I was really happy with this one and let's go into the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Cream. And like I said, this is 1.69 fluid ounces and it's $68. And I love the packaging with this moisturizer. It has a dispenser on the top, you just press down. I will say it does take a little bit more cream for me to get the hydration or the coverage I need from this. It takes me two pumps to cover my whole face. So I definitely will go through this one a lot quicker. It's hard to say how much I already use because the packaging is obviously opaque. But let's go into the details of this cream. It claims that it's a protein moisturizer that combines an unprecedented array and concentration of actives for improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness. It's a proprietary formula that delivers revived, younger-looking skin almost from the first application. Lines, wrinkles, and signs of sun damage appear reduced, while depleted skin feels strengthened and more moisturized. And we have a much shorter ingredient list here. Peptides are the 10th ingredient down, and there's actually more peptides contained in this cream. There's also water lily in here, which contains antioxidants and can be smoothing on your skin. Sodium hyaluronate, and then there's also a lactic acid and glycolic acid copolymer in here, which I'm not sure if this is why I'm getting a tingling from this cream, but when I first apply it, I just get a slight tingle that doesn't last long, maybe just for a few minutes. So I'm not sure if it's because of the AHAs in here. They're way down on the ingredient list, so I don't know how much you know exfoliation they're gonna do for the skin, but, but I do feel a slight tingle with this cream. And as far as the consistency of this cream goes, it's much lighter than the confidence in a cream. It almost has like a cream to gel consistency. It feels lightweight on the skin, it absorbs really quickly, much more quickly than the confidence in a cream does and it gives like an instant due to the skin as well. When I apply this, I wake up with, my skin feels like tight and firm. Now I will say, I do feel like I'm missing a little bit of hydration from this and maybe that's where the tightness is coming from. But if I have flakiness on my skin the night before, I feel like the next morning it's all gone. It's My texture is smoothed out and everything is dewy and more hydrated. So I feel like, it does the job, but my skin, I don't know, there's just more of a tight feeling from this than from the confidence in a cream. My skin almost feels a little bit more looser from the confidence in a cream, if that makes sense. So I think if you have oily skin, I think you would love this. I didn't experience any breakouts from this. It's super lightweight. I just wish it had a little bit more hydration. Everybody's been telling me the Lala cream is amazing and that is even better for dry skin if you're gonna try out a Drunk Elephant moisturizer. That, however, did not have peptides in it and the ingredients were good, but I don't think it had any like, you know, skin changing, big anti-agers in there. That's why I wanted to give this one a go. So speaking of that, we'll look at my before and after pictures. So you'll notice I still have that line in between my two eyes. I feel like the before and after, that line looks about the same, but you'll notice on my left eye, I have this line that kind of faces inward on the inside of my eyebrow. That looks to me that it's a little bit more smoothed out in my after results. And my under eye looks a little bit more smooth. It looks like my lines are less noticeable. And there also looks like there's a little bit more hydration on the inner corners of my eye so I definitely also saw results from this cream I feel like this kind of smoothed out the line above my eyebrows and then the confidence in the cream did a number on that line above my nose so I do feel like I got results from both of these like I said I wish I had a little bit more hydration from this cream the confidence in a cream really hydrates it's so thick and it has such a rich texture it really just you'll see instant results from this I feel like when looking at the before and Afters. My results are a little bit more dramatic with this one, but I do feel like in the end I saw the same line smoothing results from both of these creams. I might have saw results a little bit more quicker with confidence in a cream because it's so hydrating, so I might have just had a boost of moisture, so it looks like my lines are just smoothed out better with this one. But either way, it did the job. Again, the ingredients, there's potentially irritating ingredients in here. So the winner for me as far as ingredients goes is definitely the Drunk Elephant. It's fragrance-free and it has so many good things packed in here with avoiding the irritants 
treatments, it's just amazing. It's just a really great cream. They really did a great job with this. If you're oily or sensitive, I think you would love this. And especially if you're looking for anti-aging results, I really felt like I got firmness from this. And like I said, my face felt like almost tighter after I used this. So to sum it up, I basically got the same line smoothing results from both of these, but I definitely got more hydration from the confidence in a cream, but less irritation from the drunk elephant with the same line smoothing results. I just wish this gave my skin a little bit more moisture. I think this will be my daytime moisturizer. This also sat really well underneath makeup. And for a nighttime moisturizer, this is just super hydrating and does the job. So all in all, it really comes down to skin type for me. If you're on the dry side and really want some good anti-aging results, go for a confidence in a cream. But if you're oily or sensitive, go for the Protini. They're both gonna give you the same anti-aging results. And yeah, I was really happy with both of these. I hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you guys have any further questions I want to know from you guys is there any anti-aging ingredient or cream or miracle serum that you guys have used recently that you really enjoy the effects from I'm always looking for that next thing to test so let me know if there's anything you guys have been loving and I'm really excited because in the future I'm gonna have a liquid exfoliate review for you guys I just started testing out that serum and I can't wait to share my thoughts on that with you and yeah this this was super fun I love testing out products I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video see you guys